Hello guys, welcome to a new video. We are today again with The Sims 4. Last Saturday we didn't have video about The Sims 4, but today we return with The Sims 4. We are today with uh, Lina Bobardi, that is an architect born in Italy, uh, but she lived most of her life in Brazil. So she died in fact in Brazil, and this house that we're going to be building, that is the glass house, Casa de Vidrio, is built in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go with the construction, and that's it. <laughs> well guys, for the construction of this house, I started with the basics, as in every house, with some rectangles. These three rectangles were going to define the design of the house on the second floor specifically because on the first floor we just have uh, the um, uh, somewhere to store things so uh, there's no specific places on the first floor but on the second floor we have everything so I made those three spaces in order for me to have the room area in the second floor of course uh, the backyard and the area for the service because we have an area for the service for everyone that is living in the house as well that help us with everything so as you can see the the entrance of the house is with a stair these stairs came from from the first floor to the second floor specifically to the part of the social area the social area it has uh, the dining room the living room and the library so you're going to see it and there as you can see I already divided the three spaces in the in the in the house in the inner house so we have the rooms the bathrooms in this specific part so I just have two well three bedrooms and two bathrooms one of these spaces it was like the place for you to dress yourself All right, so in the other part we have a balcony this balcony well I'm, I made it with the with the idea for me to go into the into the yard where we have all the plants and this is a, the specific part for the service so uh, we have two rooms I think and a bathroom I'm not going to go so deep in this because this is more like the the design of what I built on my bedroom let's call it that way so there's the connection between the social area and the private area that is super divided in here and of course and comes for us to well for the second floor not to fall specifically so there we have the columns and everything and in this part the sims doesn't allow us to like modify the terrain because we are in the beach so in that case i needed to add some things so and i decided to add some rocks in there for me to like specify that we cannot build in that part for this area what well, you may think, if you don't know the house you may be thinking what i'm building this and this is because in the mid house there's a three these three um, came from the first floor of course and like goes through the second floor and it's in the middle of the house basically so as you can see I selected the three it fits perfectly on my design so I had all the structures so what I was missing it was like just the furniture the design of the floor of the walls and everything so that's what I'm going to start doing right now
So well, there, there you can see the chimney, that is one of the most important things in all the uh, blueprints that you may find about this house. The blueprints includes the, the chimney, very important in here. So I included this one because this, this one is the only one that fits without the necessity for me to place it in front of a wall. It was in the middle of the of the dining room, so of the living room, sorry. So we have that uh, that one there. And for the furniture, as you can see, uh, this house is completely white, but I decided to use more colors in here instead of white. So now you are seeing that couches and everything is white, but they has some additional colors. This house is going to have additional colors. So on the floor we're going to have uh, some red, we're going to have as you can see some tables with some fishes in there so that gives like a blue tone to the house. There you can see a red carpet, this red carpet on the middle for me it looks super good. Then I added, I added more things that at the final design you are not going to see them because will be changes constantly also other carpets and the entrance and everything i was thinking that this house is a house i don't know um in a specific place where there's a lot of heat um, that you go there for you to have fresh air and everything that's why we don't have a door in here as you as you can see we don't have a main door in here we just have the stairs so that's a really really nice house and it's the biggest project that I ever built. That's why this part, this design is super long, but it's the best project that I ever built in the Sims. So that, that is the living room finish with it so in this part of the well let, let's divide this house with the stairs so in one part is the living room and the dining room and in the other part is the library so because it is a huge space for just a library as, as you can see I just finished with the library so I decided to include more things as games so I'm going to have a console there a ping pong table I included um, uh, well, some fishes there, as you can see, I don't remember what else did I add into, into this design, but you're going to see it at the end on the epic shots. So there you can see the console there for, for me to play. Some carpets and everything. And for the design of the walls, the inner walls, I decided to have this design that is more like uh, some trees for me to give it a fresh air into the house with the color of the walls. So you are going to have some um, let's some trees inside the house without having them. And for the exterior walls, you already saw them. I decided to add some rocks. If this house was real, the rocks, the, the stone specifically, was going to give a fresh and a cold temperature to the house in order to fresh to make the house even more fresh, including that is on the on the beach. There you can see that the yard is has some flowers already, some plants. Um, I included some fans into the into the rooms. These fans, of course, following that idea that this house is in a um, in a um, in a hot temperature area. So there you can see well how is everything connected. Of course, the walls with some fresh uh, like. Uh, not colored but fresh idea of having some leaves on the walls and there you can see those two spaces I want to talk about those two spaces this first space where I put this giant pool that was the uh, the wardrobe 
and the part on the, on the left, it was the bathroom. But what I decided to do is to include those two parts, just make it once, and, uh, and include it inside the main room. The one that we just built, that was the main room. So I decided to include those two, as you can see it, I just made one space. And I decided to include that one into the main room. Why is that? So, because if I was going to have a wardrobe and a bathroom, not for the main room, that would look so like bad. Remember that this house, well, Lina Bobardi died in 1992, approximately. So she designed according of what she thought that it was good, that it was current for her time. Now we have this that we need uh, uh, like a main bathroom on the main room. That was I. That's that's why I did it that way. The other rooms are going to be more about the same thing. So I didn't go so deep into that, into other rooms, into other bathrooms. That's what I was explaining to you that the, the, the service area, I didn't design it at all, but it was more of the same. Well, for the kitchen, that is the other important part, um, I, I also made a, a, a change in here and it was the architect made the design with one part of these tables on the well, one part of on each wall so you have a lot of space in between but i did it this way because like modern it is better it fits better with this design so you have all the kitchen everything the sink the um, uh, the fridge and everything uh, against the the wall where is the the yard and on the other part you have uh, some chairs for you to sit but I decided to do it this way and I think it's better this way because you have more space it is more um, according to this time it is a little bit better I decided to add also uh, another things like trash can and some fruits some desserts into these tables uh, for it not to look so empty and on the entrance you are going to see it I added more tables for me to put um, desserts for me to put gifts uh, uh, like little things that you can put in, uh, on tables on this game there are the the little tables and that was basically it all right guys if so far you like this video i really really appreciate your feedback so if you like this video give it a like subscribe to my channel leave a comment if you like which houses would you like to be in here and let's go with the epic shots of this house by lina bobardi
All right, guys, so that was the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked this video about the Sims 4. We're going to be back with another video on the next Saturday. So thank you very much for your support, and bye-bye.